In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Manjaro LXQT using Manjaro KDE Live Session to run the architect. Low tech Linux. It will pretty much walk you through. I'm going to show you the settings to check. First, prepare installation. Set virtual console. Keep US. List devices is optional. Partition disk. I'm going to use automatic partitioning. Everything here is optional. Go to mount partitions. This is for your UEFI boot partition. Go for the big one. I'm going to set extension 4, ext4, hit spacebar. Data will be lost. There's no data, but I'm going to be doing this on my laptop, my compact, and I'll be doing it exactly this way. Hit yes. If you're using an SSD card, you should scroll down, use your arrow keys down to discard, hit your spacebar to check it, and then hit enter to continue. I like to use a swap file. You can leave this setting. It's going to be set. 10,000 megabytes is 10 gigabytes. I don't think it needs to be that big. Just to keep things simple, I'm going to say 4 gigabytes. I'm going to enter on done. I'm going to go to configure mirror list. I'm going to scroll down to rank mirrors by speed. I'm going to hit spacebar. I want to be on testing. Hit spacebar. Hit enter. Hit enter. It will list the fastest ones first. Let's find the United States. I'll select those. Go back, refresh Pac-Man keys. This part usually takes a long time. Next, enable FSK hook. Yes, back, install, install. Going to select yay, that's the space bar to make it selected. And that just makes it easier to install from the Arch repos. 5.7 is still experimental, so we're going to go 5.6, hit spacebar to activate it, and then hit enter to continue. Going to install LXQT, hit spacebar. I already have an XFCE install exactly like this, and we're going to be comparing those two in a soon-to-be future video. I did yes to this once with a straight architect and it completely locked my system up so I'm gonna hit no but I'm gonna do full it's what I did on the other one this is where it just starts doing all the installs nice and neat it's really pretty easy once you figure out some of the basics if you have proprietary drivers like you need Nvidia drivers or you need a proprietary Wi-Fi driver Select auto install proprietary driver. Or you can do it manually here. Install all free drivers. Auto install free drivers. That's what I'm going to do. And I th think the laptop I'm going to install. I don't think it needs proprietary drivers. But I'm in a virtual box. So I'm just going to select auto install free drivers. And it gets done pretty quick. Now that you've done that, you do need a bootloader. Grub plus OS Prober. If you've got more than one OS and you need to dual boot, triple boot, whatever, do the OS Prober. I'm on 
virtual box here i don't need the os prober if you've got a usb stick you're installing it from a usb stick your usb will be listed here so make sure you don't install grub on your usb stick i don't have that so it's an easy select go to configure base generate f stab most of the time you just want to use this the first one the uuid that's the one that's recommended i'm just going to hit ok set host name this is what you are on your network i'm going to select i'm going to call it manjaro lxqt hit ok system locale english us is what i need again desktop keyboard layout scroll all the way down for my us time zone and clock i'm going to select america and then i'm going to select n and find new york which is right there i'm going to leave it on utc universal standard time it's recommended unless you're dual booting windows i'm going to leave it at utc set root password type in whatever you like i'm not typing in one two three four five i'm not typing in one two three four five again add new user buzz manjaro i am buzzman and i'm on manjaro it's a pretty neat little mix right yeah this is personal preference. You can scroll down and select whichever one you want with spacebar. I'm going to leave, leave it on bash. I am not typing one, two, three, four, five. Back, system tweaks. <clears throat> Again, this is mostly personal preference. I am going to enable auto login. I don't need hibernation, not worried about performance. You can see what that does. IO scheduler, swap configuration, preload. You're really getting into the 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 high tech Linux stuff and low tech Linux doesn't bother. Go back. Uh, you can review your configuration files. You can make changes if you need to. CH root if you need to going to go back you can install custom system install you can go to system rescue don't need any of that I'm done and you can save installation log which I will and we're done so let's log out I selected shutdown so that I can go into my settings and turn off boot from Manjaro ISO. Remove that. Now we can boot. Yeah. It's actually the first time I've ever seen this. That's pretty nice. And yeah, worry about that later. Don't start at startup. Nice. Yeah, I'm kind of used to that single click and 
using KD for the last 20 years. That's better. All right, that's it. That is how you install Monjaro LXQT with Architect.